Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time to show you the junk and awesomeness that is purchased throughout the week. This week we actually went thrifting on two days, three stores because we didn't get enough the first shopping trip, but the second shopping day really filled us up. If you want to shop along, JanieRayVintage.com. Caitlin is on here dropping links. It's the Saturday thrift haul and things sell fast. So it's always good to go on there and peruse so you know what's coming. So people always ask us, what's the best day to thrift? I don't know that there's an actual day that's better, but we find when the thrift store first opens, that's always our best time. Yeah, we like to go first thing. It is a competitive sport. Um, and At least in Utah, but I think their, everywhere. They have their own way. Like everybody that at thrifts is regular. So when they go down the aisles, like they have their own specific go situation. We're going to go fix Rex. He's barking. I think he just wants in my mom's room. Cody's in there. And so he wants yeah. in there. But then so he's going to want we're out. We're going to get started. Minutes. One of the things we do is we tell you what we paid for and what we're going to sell for. I know that's weird. Um, if that offends you, then this is probably not the show for you. Um, but we do that because we have a lot of resellers on here that watch us to get inspiration. And then we will paint some things at the end and show you how we upcycle them. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. A lot of these things Zeb purchased. So um, this is one of them. I actually don't like this vase at all as is. Like it's just too stark. The cream is too yellow for me. Not my favorite. But what I do love is that it looks like it's made of terracotta. Um, it is embossed. And so when we paint it, it's going to be really pretty. So this cost us, um, uh, I think the price tag is missing, but I think it was like $3. It was $3. And we're selling it for $18.95 once we paint it and give it a new paint job. I feel like the camera's way far away. Um, this is not listed. Oh, that, oh yeah, I didn't even price it. Because that's too big. This is going to be I'm a display, and I wanted to show it. Um, sometimes we find things in the thrift hall or when we're thrifting that we just use. Someone asked like, what's your favorite thing to thrift? What do you guys thrift for yourselves? And I think it was a Facebook question. I was like, what don't we thrift for ourselves? We got couches in the house that are thrifted, chairs no, that are I, thrifted. I, I, I am a proud owner of no more thrifted couches. No, we have one upstairs. Oh yeah, I lied. Sorry, the kids <laughs> have one. I forgot, I'm like, but my family room and living room for the first time in my entire adult life, I bought them. But we have a lot, like a really nice sectional that we picked up for like a hundred bucks that's up in the playroom. <laughs> I did not fall, Marsha. Thanks for asking. That's a giant zit on the forehead. I tried to cover it up, but apparently did not do a good job. I mean, job. we found some almost new Nikes for Redrick the other day. Yeah, we get clothes bucks. all the time. Half, half if not more are, of our utensils are thrifted. So Yeah. If I need it and they got it, I will all right. uh, pick it up. On with the thrift haul. Wall pocket. This was $2. It's wood. And then the front is like... It's like that, uh, what do you call that? I can't even, I lost the word. Woven? No, it's like what they put in seats. Rattan? Painting. It's like painting. Kind of. It's like a texture, almost like a paper. I don't know. Is it getting painted? Did it get on um, the Yeah, list it's going to gonna get painted. It's going to get painted. When it gets painted, it'll be $20.95. And Caitlin put a tip on there. If it says will be painted, it will be painted however we choose. Because... It's the last few weeks, it's been a little bit crazy because we've had to follow up with people. And so it's just easier if you're not sure if you well, want it. What happened we... is someone bought one item and we painted it and they're like, hey, can you paint the other item I purchased to match that? And then we forgot and we didn't and we painted it something else. And so it's just hard to keep track of. Like, we're just going to paint it. If you buy it before we paint it, just know that that's what you're getting. If you don't want it painted, you can email Caitlin. But if you want something specific, I just I always want to do what people want, and sometimes it just I just don't get to it. So, all right, this is not the find of the week. We have probably the the find of the week is coming up, but this is like my weird find. I always try to find something that's like a little either off season or needs a lot of repair or really just kind of funky, and I'm going to see if I can make it over and make it good usable decor. This is not that bad, but um, I'm going to repaint it because I think it can be used more of instead of just like a 4th of July theme. I think it could be like a year round uh, tiered tray that could be really fun. So I'm going to paint it. Um, right, we're getting rid of this. I don't know what you're going to do, but the star is going to go. The star is going to go. I might just put like a little knob on the top. That'd be cute. I think we have some of the pit in there. Yeah. So we'll get to this later. This will be happening tonight later in the thrift hall. You get to see me Does make this over. Does it unscrew for shipping? Yes. These, I have my drill handy. Okay. So this one, if you order this, it's gonna you're going to have to screw it back together for, for assembly. 
Oh, I didn't even say how much this was. I just talked about it. It was $8, which is high, but I really liked it because it's all wood. Usually these are metal. You're I, feeling bougie with that I purchase. would normally pay like 4 or $5 for this max, like $5. But I paid $8, so I broke my rule. Um, we're selling it for 30, is that 36? Oh, 38. It's either 36 or 38 95. One of the two. Butch says we'll thrift anything other than socks and underwear. I won't thrift underwear. However, I have gotten hand-me-downs that I washed really well and soaked in OxyClean. When my kids are potty training and half that underwear gets tossed anyways, I mean, it's just what it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. TMI. All right. For a while, Jamie was just buying a one-size-fits-all for Redrick and Jack, and it was like luck of the draw. I think still sometimes <laughs> Redrick is like, oh, I got Jack's underwear on. But there is a huge difference in their size now. So I tried to buy Redrick like all one color so he would know what was his underwear. All right. Tell him about your little buckets. So these buckets had like pompous grass or it something. Pompous. It was uh, they, reeds. They, yeah, they looked and they like. they were not good. They, they didn't look good. And Jamie's like, ooh, I don't like those. I'm like, ignore that. I'm buying the buckets. And these are good. They're almost like watering can base. They got situations. a lot of really great texture. It looks like if it Someone's wasn't already salt washed them. Yeah, it's not salt washed. This is how the manufacturer made them, but this is what you would have to use salt wash to get this in like four different colors. So this, they were three dollars. Um, which one has the price? This one. We're selling them for twenty dollars. Once we get them painted, we're gonna redo them. They're not gonna be so drab and dreary. They'll be nice and bright like we do. Um, Rhoda, there's only one stocking holder left. The other two sold in the shop. So that's why they will only let you buy one stocking holder. Um, Caitlin says, that's how my kids are right now. They wear the same size underwear and socks. Redrick wears the same size socks as his dad, unfortunately for Zeb. He's a size 10 in a shoe and the size goes from like six, six to, 13. to 12 or six to 13 or whatever. So, you know, let's show the mercury glass. So <laughs> if you guys watch the video, I was like, does it play music? These actually light up. They both work. They both work. I you actually, got them for a dollar each. So like, why pass them up? This was a dollar 50. I don't, this one doesn't look bad lit up. This one, you can like, if you look from the you top, the you bulb. can see the like mechanics of it. Um, I actually prefer them not lit up. But anyways, if you buy them, you get all three of them for. I just on one down. of these. Nope. 36.95. 36.95. Um, and they were. A dollar each for these and a dollar fifty for this, which is actually a really good deal because sometimes when I go thrifting, these are like seven or eight dollars. So mm -hmm. be careful when you guys are reselling. If you're resellers, just because you get a good deal on something one time doesn't mean you're always going to get a good deal on it. So price it at market value and you win some, you lose some, because if you price yourself too low, your customers are going to come in on the days you're not finding super great deals and be like, well, how come this was this much before and two weeks later it's this month? You just have to know your prices and set them no matter what you pay for the item. A little pro tip there. So these were $3.50 for all three, which is phenomenal price. And we're selling for $38.95, which is still a really good price for three mercury glass candlesticks. Yes. Um, so this is, I think it's Ikea. Uh, just a little butterfly cutout. We're going to paint it, maybe decoupage it. Um, it won't be this butterfly when we're done, but it's still going to be a cool butterfly. I'm, I have some paper that has butterflies on it that we've designed. Some I think we paper. paint with flowers, actually. Yeah, we could go that way. Because I feel like the butterflies, you'd get a lot of weird cutoff wings. Oh, maybe. Because yes. of all the shape That's on this. That's a good this. call. We'll go floral. But it was only a dollar. We're selling it for the low, low price of five ninety five dollars after we decoupage it. Yep, it's going to get a quick coat of white paint, decoupage, done. It'll be super cute. All right. Um, we've got a cement urn offering. Was this really the price? It was 75 cents. The lid was in here upside down. I don't think people like had the vision of how cool this is. But look at that. 75 cents. I don't need to paint it. It's cement no, it's with like so some good. glaze on it in various locations. Um, how much was we selling for? It was on that tag that you just oh. wrinkled. Out. Oh, sorry. $16.95. $16.95. I'm gonna put the yes, lid Caitlin back on had a birthday down. yesterday. She turned the ripe old age yeah. of 31, which means I will be 41 this year because I'm nine and a half years older than her. I feel like we could just call it around 10 since you guys turn 31. I'm only and nine 41. and a half years. Her birthday's in January. Mine's in September. Okay, don't it's actually a little less than nine and a half years. She was born in 82 or 92, and you were born in 82. What do you want? I want you to acknowledge that it's only nine and a half years, not ten. All right. 
All right. <laughs> I do give Ty the five months. I'm two years and five months older than my brother Ty because I was born in November. And, and he you was usually just April. tell him you're two months. So, so you I, just, that I usually just say two years. Yeah. So you're shortening too. It's easier. Like who wants to say I'm two years and five months older than my brother? Listen, I don't make the rules. Stop. And you're not a woman. So tell them about the candlestick. Candlestick. This one's wood. Um, it is heavy. It was originally a pottery barn. We're going to turn it into a Jamie Ray vintage. Con, uh, and it has to creation. get painted whether whoever buys it says not because it's got a crack. It so does. when it's we got paint a it with, chip up top. yeah, when we paint it with DIY paint, which is thicker, it's going to be awesome. Um, it was two bucks and we're selling it for sixteen ninety five. Originally from it. Pottery Barn. It's a good shape. It's great. It does have a little bit of kitchen dust or kitchen fur on it. It's when it gets greasy and then the dust gets all yucca. Kayla says there's 10 years between her and Zach. There's actually 10 and a half years because Zach is one year older than me because he's going to be 42 this year. Uh, like a month and a half 42 before me. this year. Creeping into the mid 40s already. Ooh, the candlestick has sold. Yeah. Sweet. All right, we're going to move on. Um, Zeb is going to try to fix. There's like a couple of battle damage dents. The they're like kind of fixed is how they is. Okay, like they so just, just got... know there's a few like authentic battle damage it's, dents. This is a Norman Rockwell noticeable. tin. I'm a sucker for Norman Rockwell. I should say I don't like all things. I don't enjoy the plates so much. They're okay. I don't want a Norman Rockwell calendar or commemorative whatever. But I do enjoy the framed prints and most of the tins, as long as they're not cheesy. And this one's a good this one. Sometimes it has three prints on it. I don't know how to explain the difference between a cheesy and a non-cheesy tin, but this one's kind of matte, not as like slick, shiny. And the color is, it's like got like vintage coloring on there. Yeah, I like The it. red is good. It's not too bright. It's not too shiny. The blue is good. It's the same thing. Not too bright, not too shiny. And it plays well with the, the media that... They, okay. we got from Norman. It's probably from like the 80s. So this was $1.50 and we're selling for $12.95. Basket time. This basket um, was $3. I liked it because it had the wood handles. Great for throwing on a shelf and just grabbing it off really It's easy. a good potato basket or yeah. onions. Like you want something sturdy enough, but you want it's some It's got a wire frame, so it's like not going to lose its shape. Um, we're selling it for $19.95. All right. This is actually kind of fun because somebody else did some crafting for us. This is like a really cool um, resin or plastic bunny that somebody glued to a lid on like a pickle jar. It's like jar. a pickle jar. I don't and know that I love the like little pickles. plaque on the front. I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to wash the jar really good because I don't know who's going to buy it. But I am going to paint the lid because for whatever reason, they painted it kind of a putrid green. It's I, almost apothecary, but not. It's like trying to be like a oh sagey green. Yeah. Well, they use spray paint, which means they were limited to colors. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give it there a was new no paint job. Happening. I'm gonna give it a new paint job, just the lid, and leave the jar the way it is, and then I'll, we'll just clean the jar up, and it'll be thirteen ninety five. We paid a dollar fifty. While we're on the uh, topic of bunnies, look at this cute guy, dollar fifty burlap bunny with a bow tie. Uh, selling it for sixteen ninety five, or is that 16. eleven? I think it's eleven. Where? It's eleven ninety five. I don't know how I made that look like a six, but it's eleven. So my plan is to take off the bow that's on there, unless somebody's like in love so you with get it. This size bunny. Well, I'm gonna put a I, ribbon on it. I, oh, you're gonna put a ribbon. I'm like, I don't know if you're gonna get this bow off without ripping it. That's like glued on there pretty well. Is it hot glue? Mm, looks like it. So maybe you can heat it heat up. Heat gun and I can get it off. Don't heat gun. But I got to wait because maybe somebody loves it. I don't know. You will burn this bunny. I would just leave it. Just leave it and let the end user decide if they want to put a bow on. All right. Okay. So the apples and the pears are not for sale. They're fake. I, they actually had a big jar with them in it. And when I went to check out, I told the lady, I said, I will pay the price on the jar that's for the whole thing, but I just want the contents inside. And then you can put that jar. Cause it's like this tall, weird cylinder thing. I wasn't interested. Low key. I just want to eat these right now. Don't do that. <laughs> They're definitely paper <laughs> and plastic. And she said, great. So she sold me the contents and she took that jar back and I didn't have to worry about an exchange later. Sometimes when you're at the thrift store, if you don't want the whole thing, all you have to do is tell them you, and they will totally sell she it. She was confused for a moment. And then you're like, I am going to have to redonate this back to you. 
if you don't take it. I so don't just keep want it. it. Just it's already it. priced. Just I think <laughs> we put them inside this box yeah. and left. And I'm not going to sell these because I just want to use them for staging in the shop. So, And they're like really good high – some fake fruit is cheesy, but these are really good. So there's a lot of them actually. All right. If you've been wondering about the title and waiting for what the find of the week is, it is this pewter. This is heavy duty mama jamma pewter. Zeb goes, you think it's worth seven dollars? I was like, the shape is amazing. I found it in the yard and I was like, ah, seven bucks. Like I, that's kind like, of top of the mark for like so thrifting good. stuff that's not furniture for me. I yeah, like weapon grade, seriously. It's super thick. It's like seven dollars and we're selling for $69.95. I looked up pewter urns. Most of them had a lid and were smaller and were for putting ashes in. But they were like three hundred something dollars, so I felt like sixty nine ninety five was a phenomenal deal for this. Well, piece. and this is the perfect shape for putting like like some sort of greenery, and you could just do like a nice arrangement, even fake plants. Let's try it. So you may, I, oh, you haven't seen the video. I have video footage of me like going through the floral. This had well, a I'll huge, big Monday. bunch of floral with it, but most of the other flowers were not great but it was only 75 cents and i wanted this one and i wanted this one and i wanted this one and jamie did a good job grabbing them out because she read my mind when she was taking the yeah. pictures for the website i did not mark those for sale because See, maria are... said i can't sell all the good floral because it keeps selling and she doesn't have anything to work with for staging those need a tall vase but if you had a bunch of these like look how cool that would be if you had a bunch of these going over. item has sold so somebody else thought it was a good deal too cooper is on here what's up cooper Cooper was my partner today. We volunteered at the cheer competition. Lehigh put on a cheer competition that they were not in, but that we were just help, like hosting. Hosting. That's, yeah, that's the word. And Cooper and I were at the shout out table. So they pay $4 and they get to write a shout out. And then before the girls compete, they read the shout outs. And Cooper wrote down um, examples because people would get up to the table and say, like, I, don't I don't know, know what, what to write. I don't know what to write. And Cooper is very good at English. So he made some examples, some options as it were, and it was hilarious. So this is a fun little wall pocket bucket. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be a wall pocket. It's got a flat bottom, it can stand up. I found two of these for $2. Um, Those are so cool. And they're gonna, they're $2 each. I'm selling uh, them as is. Yeah, they're gonna be $19.95. They don't need any painting, they're dark, but like something like this. These you can even put this in there. Yeah, these aren't quite tall enough, so I would just put like a little floral foam or something and get them up to about. You that can right use there. like um, paper bags too, crumple them up, put them in the bottom of stuff. And this flower is being obnoxious. All right. All right oh, these, I'm going to show these. Here, take this these flowers too, because these aren't for sale, right? NFS. Yes. Do you want to leave me these? I'll trade you. Got those. Okay. That was a fun exchange. So these also could probably be find of the week, but I think, I don't know, it's a toss up. You decide, comment below if you think these are cooler than the pewter. I don't, are they glaring? Can they see what they are? Yeah, they can. Okay. These are wicked sweet. They're vintage. The frames are wood and just like a little bit chippy. There is water damage on one, which I shared a picture of. Um, and we paid $3 each and we're selling for $89.95 for the set of vintage prints. They both need. I might a, need to do a little tightening on these frames. I feel like they just need like a little bit of tacking and then maybe some brown paper on the back, but otherwise they're really cool. Yeah. They're really great prints. Where's almost, Odelia? She's uh, by one of her flyers got injured. So her and one of the other girls in her stunt team, we're going to go buy her a treat. And Odelia has been volunteering all day she got there at 7 30 she's still not home <laughs> she's like mom i'm so tired i'm like why did you volunteer all day friend so did they have nice. to be there all day yeah, i don't know okay so this i'm not painting it was two dollars but what i am going to do is well not me probably zeb um make sure that this is not flopping around well it just lifts out yeah but it's like not it's a really to... cool bird i feel like it's not supposed to be that wallard so we're going to make it a little bit more structured um, so that way it doesn't flop around in there. And what I'll be, do is I'll just do like some epoxy in there and then it'll be done. And it'll be $14.95. The little stand is a little bent. It's bugging me. Um, Carl and Kathy says, love the pics. I have the same ones from my grandma. Oh, the bird isn't listed? This one? The finial bird? It's It was $2. It's $14.95. It should be on there. If you're not finding it, someone may have already it. was Caitlin. It. Oh, Caitlin's not finding it. It was on the thrift haul list because I priced it out of there. 
Screw that. Oh, right. it's sold. That's why. Okay. These are metal and they're super heavy. I don't know how thick they are, but I, and I don't know what they originally were. Probably either a polished pewter or aluminum. Someone has spray painted on this not good blue and it's not even a good job. Like it's see through, it's, subpar. it's scratched. We're going to paint them up and fix them. Probably some good old DIY paint because it sticks great to shiny surfaces and metal. And they were $2 each. We're selling the set for $21.95. We're going to paint them. Yes. A better paint job. Um, Connie purchased that bird on the finial at 8.32. So right after the thrift hall went live. Connie Sally Von Zoll gave us a super chat. Hey, Sally. Thank How's you, the Sally. weather? You know her weather's good. She's in Arizona. I know. This is the good time of year. <laughs> Good time of year. Somebody asked if we were staying warm. It's been like 40. It's going to be cold it, tomorrow. It's supposed to like rain and snow tomorrow. It rained a little bit this week. I was scrambling to uh, get all of the the sheep and chicken and cow leavings because, you know, you feed them and they leave stuff behind. It's been such a soggy mess. I know you guys want to hear that about the animals, but a, I'm like, it's semi dry. Life. I'm getting back there with the tractor today. <laughs> And I did some good work. Also, guys, three Saturdays from now, don't let me forget, I got a preg check buttercup. She got mm -hmm. bread today. Did you put it in your I did put watch? it in the calendar because it's important. It's a 50% chance that it'll take. And we're going to get like the cutest little mini jersey. The bull that we used is 38 and a half inches tall at his shoulder. That's like as tall as this counter. And she's already had two calves. So she's basically going to fart and that calf's going to fall out. That's the goal. <laughs> I'm like, I, she doesn't need to like traumatic birth experience. But she's Let's on the small early. side for a Jersey cow. She's only about 700 pounds. And then we're going to breed her with a mini. And I'm hoping we get like a fun medium size calf. Um, but anyway. Let's get back to junk. We got to check in three weeks to see because if she's not i gotta call my ai tech up and be like hey i need you to get back up did here. you film the insemination i uh, yeah kind of she was fast she was like done in 30 seconds okay so i got some probably for the homestead channel all right okay so this is sorry i got these are both, i know i knew she's like pulling you back sally says it's raining by the way oh that's good they always need rain in Arizona. There's never a day you don't need rain in so Arizona. This, this was a dollar and we sold it for $7.95. It's already sold. Somebody picked it up on the website. These are and great this for this was, This was just an Ikea plant. Like it's nothing fantabulous. But we paid a dollar and I'm selling for $3.95. I feel like that's a really... Some people don't have an Ikea by them. Also, usually by the time that the thrift store is getting these, they're doing different styles and you can't get this yeah. one anymore. And I think they're like four five, like four ninety five ish at IKEA. I can't remember. I bought them in a while. But this so. one's not dusty. It's in good shape. No, it's like quality. Veronica says um, your homestead channel is fabulous. Oh, thank we're, you. you. We're doing a video a week because we also have our whole other life going on in this channel. <laughs> so we're like, you know what? We're not going to stress ourselves out. We're going to do a video a week, usually Monday or Wednesday. In between there, it'll come out. So keep an eye out for that next week. We did a cooking video last week, so we'll probably do some more nitty gritty. It's almost time to start doing our starts for the garden. So that'll probably be in the next week or two as well. I like it. So we have a question. Um, I bought a 1920 table and chairs. Want a grain sack stencil to seat? Should I do the same stencil on all four chairs? Um, yes, or you could do like two so you can like mix and match. Or you could do a four, like whatever you want. I feel like... Or you could mix it up with other grain sack stencils That's and it'll saying. still, oh yeah, so yeah. Depends, you want to buy four grain sack stencils or you just want to buy one? If you want to just buy one, then make them all match. But whatever, I think it'd, all be, I think it'd be cool either way. All right, we um, do I think we're good. Match chairs. All right, these little urns here, we're not painting them, or are we? Oh, they this were one's, spendy. This one's cracked and dropped. They're but, all getting painted. They were $4, but when I found three of them each, I, uh, three, three of them, I was like, ah. Uh, that's that's like maybe if we bundle them together, they'll be worth more than that. Well, I'm selling them individually. What I like about multiples is I only have to do one listing, and you can and I can them. sell three items. Because what people do not realize about individually thrifted items is when I'm buying wholesale, I am using a picture from them. I'm throwing it on there. I can reorder more without doing a new listing. Like it's so much less manpower 
Whereas this, I'm making an internet listing for each individual item. So there's a cost associated with that. So whenever I can get multiples, I always love that. So yeah. these are going to get a new paint job and then they're going to be how much? Uh, 1695. 1695. They're going to be good. They've got these embossed they're roses. They and... got, here, I'll show them close. They got like a little rose band around the top. Um, Jamie did that black table sell. Someone asked about it on the live. I don't believe it has sold. It's in our furniture collection. The tables actually just got listed recently when you were doing this, didn't they? Yeah. Like they were just in there. So they haven't actually been for sale until like today or yesterday. Oh, D Barb has about six of these. Oh, nice. Nice. Um, so our homestead channel, Caitlin dropped the link. It's called Jamie and Zeb. And if you look up Jamie and Zeb, we have enough subscribers. It does pop up. Sometimes when you have a new home, like a new channel, you can't find it when you search, but it's, it's gained some pretty decent traction. Yeah. It's been fun. It's like a nice change of pace to just show you guys like <clears throat> more of the day to day. And we do show that every now and then, but we never do like dedicated videos yeah. to cleaning the barn, <laughs> which I have a lot of footage. I mean, of cleaning I feel the like barn. we've cleaned the garage a few times. All right. So this, I wasn't sure what it was, but I looked it up and it said magazine rack. Somebody said it was from like a home show back in the day, like 60s, 70s, but it's cast iron. You guys, the paint job's good. If you play music, I got something for you. Just keep talking. I'll be right back. You do not have something for people because you haven't listed them yet. I'm gonna. Okay. When we were in France, this is story time. Sorry, if you're not here for story time, I'm sorry. Today's that's what it is. We you know we were in England. We're in England and we're in this little store. And Zeb buys this entire bath bag of music. And I say to him, That's cool, but I'm not listing all that. And he says, Don't worry about it. I'll do it. This is the bag. There's the bag. This um, is we all... bought it in October. I listed everything else. The only thing we have left to list is this I've and a bunch of brass I've that I also said it. I wasn't listing. And I already did list like 30 pieces of brass for him. Look, these are all old music books. I think the reason and, like, why he hasn't listed them is things. because he's not sure what he would like to actually I so, See, the hard part is, is some of these have like really great... I want to use them for decoupage paper. So I'm like, I don't know what I want to sell, what so this I don't. Is, this was $4. It's cast iron. We love the paint job. And we're selling it for $28.95. Look at that. With the music notes and the ephemera. But you can't buy the music notes because Zeb hasn't listed it. I'm going to soon. I'm Maybe by next week. And I'm going to drop them like a bomb. And then... So next week, those... You can do like I did with the postcards. I didn't list them individually. I was like, luck of the draw. And people were happy to buy them. That's cool. Like just the, the writing on here, like they hand wrote this out. Like someone did the font set on there. And then they did a printing of it. I'm trying to see if there's a date oh, on this. Cooper says, let me look at them before you let them go. I want to see the song. Oh. I don't know if you guys know this, but Cooper plays the viola. Cooper. He can write shout outs for cheer competitions. He can play football. And Cooper also plays the viola. And he also helped me process some chickens. Not seen on the Homestead channel. You guys aren't ready for that. And he's witty and entertaining. Zeb's like, was it boring? I'm like, no, Cooper hung out with me the whole time. We made jokes. <laughs> but anyway, I have a whole bag of this. I was like, I was going through them. And the guy's like, hey, I'll sell. I don't even remember how much pounds. it was. He's like, I'll give you the whole bag for 10 pounds. Because I was like having trouble deciding what I wanted. And we let Caitlin pick through it because she plays the piano. And so yeah. she got some music she wanted. But yeah, Cooper, come on over, man. You can go through this and get, get whatever you want. All right, so hopefully the music sheets are coming. Um, I think he's also waiting for us to have a better scanner because I would love to scan a lot of them because then we could turn them into decoupage and whatnot. So. Yeah, so there's the reason they're not listed yet is because I've been waiting because they're going to be ephemera. Anyway, that was long. That was long winded of me. I already told him about that. Okay, good. All right, I don't like to buy all the false graph because some of it's like boring, but I love these cute stoneware mugs. Just the coloring's really good. I love the cobalt blue imp stamp on it these were 75 cents and i'm selling them for i think 4.95 i don't think zeb wrote it on there it's but. on one of them oh i handed you the marker you were supposed to write on them but they are 4.95 where do you source your wholesale purchases so i'll tell you right now i don't divulge my wholesale sources because that's like hours and hours in fact today i was in bed for hours scrolling my phone and zeb's like what but are you doing you have told quite a few of them in business coaching in business but coaching, what she's saying I do is share. it's not free info <laughs> I do share it in business coaching some of it, but I do have a few little, I have a few things, you know, every retailer has their own thing, but I will tell you this. 
Um, you can search like whatever you're looking for and then just put the word wholesale in it on Google and you should be able to find some really great wholesalers. That's how I found a lot of my companies. Okay. This has some sort of like transfer print on there. It's got to go. It's got to go. It was <laughs> a dollar. Great. I'm offended by it. You're offended by it? <laughs> so there's like of all the things to be offended by, floral is offending Zeb today. It's just like chippy and the coloring is not great. I mean, what's this? Is this flower on fire here? Like what's going on there? Is it stenciled or decoupaged on there? No, it's not even decoupaged. It's like a weird sprayed on transfer probably from the factory. Like someone didn't DIY this. It's got like shadowing, like the printer was off. Uh, anyway, $1.50, I'm gonna paint it up really cool. Maybe do some I fun think stencil or decoupage in the center here. Maybe leave the outside galvanized, um, but it will be $21.95 when we're done. This is a really good question. Tristan says, what do you use to repair cracked ironstone pieces? So if I have all the pieces, I love super glue gel because the gel is thicker, it doesn't get all over the place, you have to be careful. But if you're delicate with it, you can really piece them back together. And I have had success selling ironstone, like I had a big, like terrain that it's got damaged. Good, it's be and good. somebody paid a decent price for it, even though it had repairs made to it. So I suggest, it doesn't really matter the brand, but you want super glue gel. So hopefully that helps out. Um, yes, Cindy, the picture is blue and white and I'm excited about the picture. We'll share that here in a minute. Um, I will get, we're, we've got to make our way through this. Yeah, so let's do some hustling. this was $4. It's getting a paint job. You know, I love embossed tin. Um, and it's going to be $29.95 right now. Planters are hot. People are planting inside, especially here in Utah. I actually sold all like a whole bunch, like a whole thing of pots are gone out of my shop. So I've got to go throw some more pots and paint them cute. But I'm always looking for planters. All right, so this was four dollars. We're selling it for twenty six ninety five. Same idea, the long metal. That one's not getting painted because I like the look. So the look is good on that one, Kay. This is a sea mug, seventy five cents. Selling it for six ninety five. It looks like a rope. It's not. It's like cursive, and it's not necessarily old. I just liked it. I thought it was cool. You we know? buy mugs all the time. If They're your cute name in the starts shop. with C, snag it up. I don't see many mugs with C's on them. Um, all right. <laughs> Essentially, Kimberly says, it sounds like you're dating Odelia's parents instead of her. So Odelia, oh, <laughs> Odelia is very busy. Oh, it's end of cheer season, which means it's the cheerleaders competition time. And they also and they do also basketball, basketball, which is like multiple games a week, whereas football is just like one game a week. Right. So they've got like tons of competitions. They're trying to get ready for nationals at the end of February. And it's just slamming busy for her. And she told Cooper, like, right before Christmas break, she's like, I'll see you in March. He, come, he comes <laughs> over and hangs out in hopes that maybe Odelia might pop by. Yeah. And I always keep chicken nuggets for him. So, I mean, win-win. Yeah. All right. Show him your box. This is just a homemade wooden box. I like it because of the thickness of the wood. If I could find pallets of this thickness, it's like a little, it's not quite three-eighths. It's not quite a quarter of an inch. Um, I would buy it up just tons of it because it's the perfect size for like a lightweight little organization box, or you could even put this on a centerpiece or whatever. But this is cedar, and I'm leaving it alone. I don't think we're painting. No, we're painting it. Okay, never mind. We're gonna paint. It's not cedar. The base is pine. Oh, the base is pine. It even says kiln dried, heat treated. Someone found where to buy this. They used cedar fencing and a pine base. Okay. Actually, no. No, it's cedar. It's sorry. all pine. Oh, it's all I pine. lied to you. It's all pine and okay. it's been ripped down. It just looked fuzzy like cedar does on the inside. I was like, I'm confused, but. Okay, now I know how they got their thin you're lumber. You're the guy too. who knows about wood. I don't know. They got their but... thin lumber, and the reason I don't do this myself is because it's pretty labor intensive to get it this thin. <laughs> I'm going to paint it and make it look like an industrial tote. Oh, and that is $2, and we're selling it for $17.95. Man. Story time is real tonight, guys. It's because I'm really tired. This It's been a long week. <laughs> and we were going to get a nap, but it was too late. This was a dollar. It's just embossed tin. They actually did put like some sort of cement in the bottom. to Otherwise, it'd be too floppy and would fall over. And we're going to paint it and sell it for $9.95. All right. Who needs to make some Mickey birthday cakes? I got you. And I see Kate, you boy. Zeb's like, it's going to be worth a lot of money. I'm like, no. 
and it wasn't. I didn't think it was. Yeah, I mean, it's not worth buy. like nothing, but it's not worth. I mean, I'm not over here thinking Mickey Mouse cake pan is going to be worth like 200 bucks. <laughs> um, it was a dollar fifty, and we're selling for 14.95. There you go. It's perfect. Same with this bunny one. Actually, the bunny one's worth more. It's cooler than Mickey. Dollar fifty as well, and we're Heavier selling for gauge. sixteen ninety five. And it's yeah. a, I called it retro. It could be vintage. One is a Wil Wilton nineteen. I mean, it's not that old. It was made in Indonesia. Nineteen. Oh, nineteen. I think eighty two. This is ninety five. So that one is older. That one's retro. You were retro, Zeb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we looked at I a. Love the cute we looked at a Ford Bronco, and we took Eliza. We're like, Eliza, you have a year to fix this up, and she's like, Nah. She's like, It smells like exhaust. She's like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm like, that's part of the year. No. That's part right. of the year. <laughs> now I'm going to have to, because they said it's sur la table or something because it's French, but whatever. Sur la table for this. It's a butter dish. Sur la table is a brand. It's super cute. Love the little bird. It's nice and heavy. It's like stoneware. And I paid, I don't know because the tag is gone, but I think I paid like a buck for it, maybe 75 cents. And it's $16.95. Butter dishes do well. This I was super excited about because I always find the cookie jars that look like houses, and this is a pitcher. It does have a small chip. It's, that would be a flea bite. Yeah, that's a flea bite on there, but otherwise it's in tremendous condition because sometimes oh, it has a little bit of wear right there, but it's got a little kitty on the it's front got porch. It's a big chip right here. You missed it. <gasps> Just kidding. Hopefully somebody didn't buy it already or else I'm going to have to You're going to have to disclose that. Well, they can, you know, what? I'll refund them if they don't want it. It's still cool. House Either way you slice it. Pitcher. It's so, it's on the seam, so you can't even I tell can't even that tell. it's there. Is it listed? Yeah. Actually, I didn't price it. It might not be listed. You might be in luck. No one may have bought this. All right, Kaylin, if this isn't listed, I will list it later. And then that way I can include close-up pictures of the chips. I yeah, love it. And it, maybe nobody will want it, and then I will. Then keep you it. can keep it and put flowers in it. Gosh, that'd be so cute. I know. <laughs> it's like you're inside my brain. All right. Uh, this is the time of year where we put flowers in everything. This was a dollar fifty. I don't know what Jamie has planned with this. I actually picked it out. It's I'm gonna, gonna put, go hasta la pasta. She's not keeping it the ain't Texas, Texas star. Unless you're from Texas and you got to have the star. That's bed. gonna go off. It's got fun little. I don't know if it's copper, but it looks like it might be like really, like patina copper on the edges. Somebody just bought the tote, and I'm so. gonna put a handle in there. It's going to get a handle. So if you want, the, if you're still on here and you bought the tar tote, do you want to keep the star? Let us know. You know, except for Utah, outside of Utah. Oh, Leslie bought it. You want the star, Leslie? All right. This <laughs> I randomly found in the garage and I don't know why Zeb made it. it. Never did anything with it. And then the other day when I was doing the corbels for the craft kits, I had a, enough of the zinc left over that I so did. So it was in the garage because it. it was the sample I made for Ty and Mariah so that they could duplicate it. Oh, there you go. Well, I put watered down zinc on it, which is products. food safe. We will put some water, we'll put tongue oil on it, and then it will be food safe. And it's going to be $21.95, which is a really good deal because we used to sell these for like $50. All right. I'm going to just push these over. <laughs> Leslie does not want the star. Okay, Leslie, it's coming. Done. Off. All right. This is a pink bun pen. I don't actually buy a ton of bun pens unless they're the right color. Um, but $2, I'm selling it for $16.95. Is that, I can't read your writing, $16.95. The color is perfect for Valentine's Day and spring. I was in a real big hurry to get this set up because I was like, oh man, we have way more than I thought we did and I got started late. All right, so these, we have two medium sized. These are actually bottle dryers, but we sell them for paint brushes. They were $1.50 each and we're gonna sell them for $9.95. You just put your paint brushes as they're drying in here. Um, and then a dollar fifty for this big one, and it's fourteen ninety five. And we have sold so many of these. People love them. You can buy them new, but they're like slightly less expensive, and it's green to you know buy things reused. And if you ever need to actually dry bottles as well, they work for that. So we never, we never leave these behind. Well, and they're a dollar fifty. Yeah. Even the big one was a dollar fifty. But you know what? I haven't found them in a long time. Like, it's probably been like a year. They were all at the river. And we got there. a lot of kids in Utah. So you think they'd be like, every week we'd find them. Okay, big old chest here. Zeb left this in the yard, but I found it because it's like a blank canvas. 
Well, I was just thinking of shipping it. Like I was like, oh, it's going to be pretty big to ship. It's going to be forty two ninety five because it is bigger. Um, but it's going to get painted up, probably some stenciling, maybe IOD. I'm not going to guarantee what it's going to have because it depends on my mood. But it's going to be awesome. And we honestly have never bought a chest that didn't sell fairly quickly. So I'm excited to get this one done. Large trunk. Oh, so this is something you can buy like at the craft store. Probably not for I what I paid. I thought it was like a shop project no. the way it was assembled. I mean, I paid four bucks. You couldn't get that at the craft store for four bucks. All right. Sub's getting into project mode. I'm going to keep going. There's only a couple things left. We have. But if I don't, it's already, I got like 19 These I saw left. already sold. They were a dollar each. So I paid two bucks and I sold the Great Danes for $9.95. Um, it's missing, but it had one of those like Japanese stickers on the bottom. Like Napco, I think is what these are. Cute little Great Danes. And then we have this big mirror which I'm kind of excited about because we had some salvage. Remember that shell salvage? Mm -hmm. It's sold, and this is like the same size. So I can paint it and put it on the wall. It was $5, and you didn't put the price on here, but I'm pretty sure it's $89.95. It might be on some tape somewhere. I don't know. It might have fallen off. I had it on tape. Okay, it'll be $89.95. Somebody may say, oh, don't paint it. It's like foam underneath and the um, Hobby Lobby paint job is coming off. So I am going to take the mirror out and I'm gonna give it a really great French country paint job and it's gonna be a lot cooler and look good. $89.95, oh, it has sold. So I guess it's not going in the shop. Somebody else loved it too. All right, next up we have the Cast Iron Bird. I know this one did sell. It was a dollar and we sold it for $8.95. And then we have these three little piggies. They went wee, wee, wee all the way home. <laughs> um, they were 75 cents each. The black and the white, which actually is more black and cream. And the pink, I'm not painting. We're just going to clean them. And they'll be $4.95. And then this one is like a hard resin. I don't love the paint job on it. So I'm going to repaint this one. And it's also going to be um, $4.95 once I paint it. You guys, I closed my eyes and grabbed two oh. colors. And I have Weathered Wood and Queen Bee. If Marty's still on here, let me know if you don't still want to paint it. I can try to do a similar paint finish. But like I said, you can kind of see like that original foam. So if you yeah, don't want to paint it, I'll ship it as is. In but... quite a few places, it's chipped off. Oh, we haven't seen Grambo in a while. She's, I know she's been, was real busy. She she's was got grandkids. She's busy. Maybe I said something that upset her. Oh, Maybe all the pigs happen. sold. You don't upset people. I do. Zeb and I can say the same thing, but Zeb gets away with it. What are you culture. doing with that color? I'm just going to try. I I literally closed my eyes and grabbed two colors out. So I'm just going to try and see what happens. I remember the other day we had a talk. About painting things weird colors. Yeah, because you, when they don't sell online. I'm going for a cream. This is already sold. Oh. Well, they probably don't want weird colors either. But it's not going to be weird. When he paints stuff odd colors, and not necessarily awful, they just don't go in my color scheme, then I have to try to make them look good in the shop. And every now and then I'm like. Okay, you're not wrong. I'm going to go get a third color. But I am going to continue playing with this because I got like a olive <laughs> color in there. It's like baby <laughs> That's not food. what I'm going for. I'll be right back. Cooper. Your mom cannot have all the pigs. Well, she can, but I think at some point, point she's going to be like, stop buying me pigs. Did you give her the pig pancake maker in her stocking that I bought her? I mean, at some point, she's going to be like, Jamie, I know you thrift for a living, but you don't have to buy every pig you see. Oh, no. The color I want is not okay. in here. Cooper's sad face. If you need it, Cooper, I'm sure I can find you more. Leslie, look. I'm going to show you this green. Can you see the green color? Like it's. <laughs> All right. Should I paint something? Um, yeah. You got mm. two great colors out there. Go for it. What? I'm not. Are I'm not mixing those. Are we seriously out of like all the whites? What happened to all the crinoline? Oh, we we're also going to be working on this, but I don't know what I'm doing with yes. So I'm not going to paint it. We had a whole thing of crinoline. It was $3 and I don't remember how much I marked it for. But I'm thinking I might do like a toilet bowl cleaner on it to age it and then do like a big industrial stencil on it. Like that cotton one we have. 
Should I paint a wall pocket? That's kind of boring. Mm. Oh, I'm going to paint these candlesticks because they're ugly. Oops. Oh, dear. What happened? Cooper needs more pigs. All right, I'll get you some more pigs. We've been painting a lot of things. We're out of, like, all kinds of paint. All right, I can I can keep that in the same family for Martina. I'll do like uh, I'll do weathered wood to start with, and then I'll do like crinoline and a dark wax. So it'll be simple. Where's the crinoline? I'm looking for that. I don't know where'd you put the crinoline. It's not in here. I think. Why don't used... you get back on camera and I'll look for it. I think we used it all up. Remember this week when I said I need help cleaning out the paint cabinet, and you said we don't have time for that. Maybe we had time. No, you can't leave yet. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Are you the boss of me? Are you the boss of me? Okay, I'm back. We're going to scratch this situation. We're going to leave According that. to that one video, you are the boss of me. People that don't know us are like freaking out. Like, I can't believe she asked if she could buy that. It was a joke. Yeah. And then people are also now chiming in. Be like, he never says no to you. He's such a pushover. I laugh. <laughs> All right, there's a dab of yellow on here. We'll live. We've been doing lots of French millinery, lots of weathered wood, but I've never combined the two. I have not either. How do you use toilet bowl? Um, we have a video, but just involves sanding it and then putting legit straight up Costco toilet bowl cleaner, the Clorox brand they have. And um, I just let it age. Hey, Odelia, you got oh, some flowers. You got some flowers. They didn't sell them all? You can come in and say hi. I look You look fine. You look average. Hello. Look average, wrecked. You're you pretty cute You got fun cute, flowers no from Cheer. Yeah. Okay. This is a deeper, darker, richer. There's a big, right there, Dad used it to put eggs uh, in. I think it's from the French barn. Millinary. You can put flowers in that. I don't know. You don't even have Floral to. Design 101. Except for those are all. I would just get rid no, of everything. Rid of these, yeah, just keep the baby's breath. Oh, pretty. All right, so I'm gonna go weathered wood because I just need to cover up this blue, and then I can think about what I want to do with it. <laughs> this is always a good start. Just like cover it up. And this got super smoky and topy. Smoky topy. Yeah. At least it's not baby poopy. That's where it started. No, that was like an olive color. Poop comes in all colors. Don't we know it? All right. Don't worry, Odelia just lives here, so. <laughs> Cooper says, I'm coming! Do you want <laughs> do you want Cooper to come over? Oh, okay. I thought you were tired. I am tired. All right. As long as he doesn't expect much. You can laugh at him playing video games. <laughs> Cooper, you can come hang out with us. All right, I've been deep in thought over here, contemplating if I really love this color, if I need to add something else. Kelly I, says Odelia's smile is contagious. It is pretty she good. She is a smiley kid and always has She been. will laugh at all your jokes, which is good, because sometimes you just need somebody to laugh at your jokes. She will also send you random memes that are or are not funny. Star Wars. She loves to send the Star Wars memes. Or reels. Cooper sometimes sends me stuff. I'm like, Cooper, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> but Zeb and I share an Instagram account, so sometimes Zeb gets it even when I don't. And I'm sure as soon as Eliza's allowed to have it, she'll be sending them to me too. I don't know if share is the right word. We both have our own separate accounts, but well, it's Jamie, the Jamie Ray, Ray Vintage, Vintage is our account. shared account. You and go on there. Yeah, I'm logged in. That's like I never log out of that. My personal account's been neglected for years now. Oh, I don't have a personal Instagram account. I only have Jamie Ray Vintage. Well, I, I do have a personal account. My have. personal is Raywire. Oh, yeah. No, I have a <laughs> so personal, like personal. A business. <laughs> it's set up like day. a business one anyway that I Actually, never did anything with. Jamie Ray Vintage was kind of a personal one, and then I just deleted all the personal stuff and 
huge business, like many, many moons. So ago. this is the difference between, oh, did you paint those black? Or is this no. weathered wood? So this is the difference between weathered wood and the French millinery weathered wood mix. And Queen Bee, don't forget you added that. There's just like a hint of it. It's like a just a tint of it. It's like I don't know it, where you're going. It was on the brush. It's gonna be good. What I'm time is do it? Some white stenciling. What time is it? Um, nine twenty-one. Oh, okay. At least I covered up that blue. It was just not bueno. Ah, there goes the paint. I don't know if we have any white paint. Like I could not find it, or the crinoline would work. Um. This you is, looked in here and you didn't find crinoline. Yeah, I went. You might have there. used it all. This is covering like a dream. This DIY paint. It's amazing. I don't know if you've heard about it. It's been pretty much our go-to for the last four. Are we working on five years with DIY paint now? I don't know. Thousands of pieces painted with it. Thousands. Not even joking you. That is that is an accurate representation. Well, I mean, I probably paint like we how were, many pieces do we I paint? We were talking about it earlier today. Jamie's like, we spend at least half a day half a work day painting thrift halls every week at least and we set them all out here and we paint them all up together within an hour or two but then you got to do the finish work the grand plan is to have a studio which people are like but i love you in your kitchen which is cool but it's a little bit complicated and there's dishes mess. back there and the kids are like busy sometimes you know it happens <clears throat> lunchbox lady says those candlesticks um are a hundred times better um and kayla says we have a boutique store where we sell upcycle and thrifted items as well as repopulated items plus supplies on your own jamie likes to tell you what they bought it for and what they sell it for to help oh people. someone must yeah. have been confused on what was happening yep because most of the people honestly most of the people that watch us are resellers so they come here for ideas because when we first started in the business it was like Secret city. Nobody ever wanted to share any information. Like I keep a few secrets. You would go to a vintage market and it was radio silence. Be like, hey, where'd you get that? How'd you learn how to white wax? And someone would be like, what do you mean how I learned how to white wax? I'm not telling you. And then I'd come into my booth and I'd see people like looking under stuff. And, I'd and we would just straight up tell them. <laughs> and I'd catch them off guard and be like, I got a video for that. You want to follow me on YouTube? And I'll tell you exactly how I did it. And they're like, what? You're going to share your information? And I'm like, yep. Yeah. There was a table I built and some guy was like literally laying up underneath, seeing how I had constructed it and put it together. Oh my, this guy's not buying a table. He's building his own. So I sent him to the video. So two heat guns simultaneously. Don't you have these? done separately yes so when i wired the house the kitchen island especially i wired it on two separate 20 amp breakers because i wanted to be able to use multiple small appliances at the same time or i knew we were going to be heat gunning a lot up here um and we would pop the breaker at our other house and so when i wired this up there's a 20 amp gfi there and a 20 amp gfi there and we've never had a problem it's a pain in the bum to uh, do your own house. In fact, we were actually talking the other day. We legit have PTSD about finishing this house. That last month was the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Like the church project does not even touch that because the church is like not even finished. It doesn't matter because half of it is storage so we can get to those projects when we well, want to. Well, I didn't to. have to build it from scratch. I just had to tear yeah. some walls down and then put some paint on it. Well, we didn't have to put a kitchen in there or a bath. Like bathrooms and kitchens are hard and doing all that work ourselves. Some people are like, oh, I built my house myself. And what they mean is they were the general and they did some painting, but they had contractors. I'm like, what I mean is we legit did it ourselves. We hired out the foundation it's all on video. and the There's HVAC. like 120 videos. <laughs> My Jamie least... over here holding up the garage door rails with her bun. Um, oh, yes. When we did the framing. And then insulation. Don't like that. I installed 2,600 square feet of wood flooring by myself. I had some massive guns. I would say the hardest house. things we did was the, uh, just because of the amount of volume it was, was the shiplap, the flooring, the insulation, and then the roofing. Yeah. And people come in our house and they either love it or they say, um, are you gonna are you gonna finish that? And I'm like, it is finished. What's the problem with you? 
I used to be really self-conscious about it because people would come in if they're not used. Like if you've never been to, if you've never been in a cottage or you've never been to like Europe and seen old houses, then you're not really prepared for the style of this. But people that have come in and they're like, I love it. And those are my people. And I'm okay with having a few projects because that's life. And I would much rather have projects than to have just dried walled the whole house. Like we have a bunch of trim we're gonna add and some a grid to the ceiling and whatever, but it's my favorite. I love this house. And I love that we don't have any hollow core doors. Like they're all solid wood doors because they're all old doors that I <laughs> hoarded for many, many years. What brand is my heat gun? Um, this is Warner Wagner. This is an Wagner old one, it doesn't like work that. as fast. But um, they, they last a decent amount of time. We, we, we use them a lot. Sandy, what is the top of your island? So this is actually um, old dimension, 100 and something year old wood from when we renovated. So 1917 when, is the wood that we pulled out of, um, like, a, you can't see it, but above here we opened up to the stick frame ceiling and we milled it and sealed it. And that's what this island is made from. All right, I'm getting there. I slapped a lot of paint on these. Oh yeah, Caitlin does, somebody told Caitlin that we need more paint. Caitlin does, lives about 20-ish minutes away, so she's not at the shop that often. Ivy, on the other hand, is at the shop a lot. And then um, we have two full-time shop employees that ship and run the shop because we really don't have like constant walk-in traffic. Some days are busier than others. So they ship and run the shop. So that way it's They're advantageous. usually there together. So someone's always shipping your stuff out. Oh, that's been watered down. Monica says we built our own house from the ground up. We don't have the upstairs done. It's just a shell because we built for cash. My kitchen is actually my library and I have no closet. That I, I get all that, man. I totally understand Our basement's that. not done and there's no lights down there. So when we go down to get the food, because it's basically our cold storage, um like bare cement walls and we have to take a flashlight can you give me a dry paintbrush then yeah but i'm struggling we have no white that you haven't watered down i have white right here oh. i got it for you there's not very much left i don't need much you said a dry paintbrush mm -hmm. and can you bring me the water down white i'm just going to do a a drippy white finish on these okay well we're almost done here i'm not going to get is this rex completed. laying on his back i just see his feet in the yeah, air yeah his there. feet are poking up his, his paw his little toe beans. Okay. I don't know if I can show you this while it's happening because I got to hold it like this in front of me. But I'm going to do something that's maybe a little uh, not recommended, but we're going to try it. If it doesn't work out, don't it's fret. Definitely not recommended. I'll repaint it. It's just paint. It's not big deal. We have repainted so many things. Whoops, that slipped off. See, that's what I'm talking about. It's wet inside. Adelia, would you grab me a cup of water? I need to get this. I guess that look is no. She is not going to get me a cup of water. How dare you like, ask Mom, her? Like, Mom, I've been up all day on my feet. After she's worked all day. I just sat down. I wouldn't know anything about working all day. Don't like that. We're not going with that look. Not doing it. It got all cloudy on me. Shout outs with Janelle. Thanks, Sue. She says she loves our house. Monica says halogen lights were great to plug in when you go upstairs. I told him I was just going to ask him for an extension cord to just run some Christmas lights in the basement. Done and done. So it's wired. Like all the wiring is in there because I did that when we were getting the inspection done. And I wanted to just have it finished and not get a separate permit when I got around to finishing. There's the not any receptacles. But I never put the lighting, uh, the lights up or uh, finished the, the outlets or the switches or anything like that. They're there. The boxes are there. I the just expensive to, part is mostly done. I just like... have to attach it all. And the HVAC is done there. So we need to finish it so that way it's like uh, counted. It's livable square footage. Although the ceiling is pretty low, I think Cooper hits his head. Does he? Yeah, Odelia's laughing because he does. Uh, 
uh, the rusty trike said, can't wait to get the craft kits. We're going to start doing some massive cutting next week. The gals at the shop have already been portioning out all the paint. Um, the right. craft kits, the turnoff date is the 15th. Also, earlier somebody asked us about business coaching. And Caitlin, if you're still available, would you drop the link to business coaching so people can see where to sign up for that? We sign up on our website and it's monthly um, billing. And then we go, we have a Facebook group, which is where we actually run the business coaching. I just got paint all over my mug. It's okay. So I was going to stencil this and this is going to be super difficult because of the way it's curved and the lines weren't going how I wanted. So now I'm like, oh, what am I going to do? Part of me was like, let's decoupage it, but then it's like rounded. So I, I would have be. to do it in pieces, which I might try. You want me to sign the candlestick, Susan? I can do that for you. I or haven't looked it. on the underneath, so I'll have to look underneath. But if I can't, I can at least sign a sticker and slap it on there if it's not a surface I can sign, but I'll do my best. Um, so the cutoff date is the 15th for the craft. Oh, That's she like, says if she said, Caitlin says the cutoff date is the 20th. So it, it could be the 20th. I think we've been telling people the 15th, but. But we'll leave it open till the 20th because it took us a while to finish it. So we'll do that. How do I know if I'm still signed up for the craft kits? Um, Rhonda, if you email info at jamierayvintage.com, Caitlin can look it up for you. Probably not tonight because she's going to be done. She's been actually, Caitlin's actually been kind of sick um, for this last weekend. By kind of, she's been pretty sick. So she's probably going to pass out after this. All right. Okay, I'm I figured gonna... out what I'm going to do. Oh, look who just showed up. It's Cooper. All right, I'm actually going to not heat gun this because I don't want to touch them anymore. So you guys kind of get the idea with them. Odelia, can you grab him and take him out? They're not going to be this white. Like, they will get darker. They look a lot whiter on camera than they are. But you can kind of see the multi <laughs> barky dog. Um, and some of the blue is popping through, but it's not bad. I actually like it. It's toned down. All right, bear with me. We'll stay on for a few minutes longer. I'll fix the camera. Odelia, you're going to have to take him upstairs. Thank you. Caitlin said that I said I was going to leave it up longer, which she's probably right. <laughs> Caitlin knows. So the 20th, January 20th is going to be a cutoff for the craft kits. But we are going to be getting started cutting out stuff um, early in the week because we're going to have to be running the CNC machine to get all those corbels done. Do a rub on transfer on the on the tray what are you gonna do on it i think are you gonna use decoupage i'm gonna rip it in this i got all these scraps i'm gonna do like ephemera like small little floral pieces all over it okay but you do realize it's already 9 32. yeah i'm hurrying all right i'm done so i can actually respond to comments you can't you can eat that over there did cooper bring you mcdonald's okay um i was trying not that's to touch a, that's them. a good egg I was trying not to touch that. I didn't touch it. I just barely like right at the edge. You had intent to touch. I did. Um, I can, but anyways, Caitlin, if you need to go, I can drop links and monitor because I'm done painting. It's just going to be a sec here. I'm just going to do this bottom bowl and then we will show in a picture in all the places what this looks like when it's done because I did not anticipate. I My vision did not work out. You You're guys, about to decoupage my countertop. My vision did not work out. Oh, do you? <laughs> I can Pamela's, hear uh, Josh Han Newton is barking at Cody. But my vision wasn't what I wanted it to be, and now we had to switch gears and see if we can do this. Thanks, Caitlin. Monica, Caitlin just dropped the link to create a business coaching. There's an email on there. Make sure you email. Um, that goes to Mariah. It takes her about, I think, 72 hours, is 72 business hours to get signed up. Um, but I can have her add you sooner than that if you just let us know that you signed up. And um, then you just get to the Facebook group, and that's where we do our live videos. And every week it's a different topic. We've been trying to, like, we have a lot of people that have been there for years and years. So we've been trying to do, like, things that are relevant to people that have been there for three years, but also then recover stuff that we've covered before 
it's always a good refresher for people who've been there for a while. So that way people, whether new or old, get good information. And we have every single video saved in files. So you can actually go back if you so choose and watch yeah, years of If you have access to coaching. the group, you have access to all the, all the coaching. What's the best paint to use stencils with? Um, I would say DIY paint, however, there's a caveat. Um, be careful when you seal it because it can smear. Any chalky paint can do that. So if you're worried about that, I would say cottage color then is better to stencil with because it's a built-in sealer. There's a couple things you can do. You can put sealer in with the DIY paint and stencil with that. Or once you've stenciled your piece, just take like a mister bottle and put half water-based sealer, half water. So a 50-50 mix, mix it all up, spray your piece, let it dry, and then you can brush any kind of sealer you want over the top of it. Because basically what that does is it sets the paint so then it doesn't smear. So if you have scrap decoupage paper, something like this where you're just going to ephemera something like crazy. We do this to mannequins every now and then. I actually just... like that some of that blue is coming through, but it's like a yeah, water a, it made white like a version. Yeah, almost like a like patina. Bright blue. That was, it was some blue, that's for sure. All right, so if you guys are just tuning in and you want to buy the things we showed tonight or the paint and products, you can buy them all at jamierayvintage.com. That is our website. If you're local to Utah, you can click local pickup and come in the shop during business hours and save on shipping. A lot of the DIY products, except for DIY paints, I guess should say, it's always hard to say that. So like the decoupage paper, the milk paint, which is 25% off right now until Monday, um and the stencils iod all that is free shipping if it's been over ten dollars diy paint is the only thing that um is not free shipping of the diy products because the company doesn't allow us um sandy nino super chat finally caught a live happy new year happy new year sandy rashond is on here what how do you seal an IOD paint inlay? Jennifer, the same way as a stencil. So get a mister bottle and you can put half sealer, half water in it and spray your um, inlay. Let it dry completely. That will set your inlay and then you can brush a sealer on or wax. And if you're really worried about it, you can even let it dry, spray another um, half water, half um, sealer in there and then you'll be good to go because that'll help set that inlay. Make sure that you're using a water-based sealer though. Don't do oil-based and water in your mister bottle. And don't use a, like a straight up spray bottle because you want it to mist your piece. You don't want to spray it and have all that paint sheet off and run. Look at all this knowledge Jamie's dropping on you while I'm over here decoupaging. I'm trying not to fall asleep. I'm like, listen, Linda, you knew I was tired. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna to try to get this going. one bowl like mostly done. I had a bad dream. I've been up since 5 a.m. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I do had a bad dream, too. Can you tell us more about the craft kits? Sure. So we have a craft kit that comes out once a quarter. And it's typically something that we cut out because we have a CMSG machine, machine that we've designed. And it comes with a paint and the, what you need to put the craft kit together. You typically will either get a brush or a stencil, something that you can reuse in each craft kit. Sometimes if you get a stencil, then you'll get like a less expensive brush. Or if you get a good brush, then it doesn't have a stencil. This craft kit is corbels. So if you go back, um, we did a video about a week ago showing you how to assemble the corbels. And then Friday, we did a video showing you how to use them for a shelf, if that's what you want to do. And you have two options. You can sign up for recurring billing, which is every three months. Or you can do a one-time purchase. It's just cheaper if you do the recurring billing. And... Um, Caitlin can drop that link in there if you want it. So hopefully that answers all the questions. All right, I'm almost there. That's all right. Rashonda says, I've been here just a little quiet. It's all right, Rashonda. Sometimes you want to just watch and do your Rashonda, own Rashonda, are you going to go see Debbie and Dion in Bernie at Sarah's shop? That's where we met Rashonda, was in Bernie, Texas. Kiki says, I just got chickens and she had three eggs so far. Ooh, nice. I want more chickens, preferably ones that lay eggs like the ones on the scale. Yeah, we have, how many chickens do you say? So we have 20, 
22 laying hens right now. And one rooster. I named him Fred. And he's a really good rooster. We had a rooster that was mean, and Fred would, like, get the... What? I'm not eating Fred, so I can name him. I mean, not yet. Yet. I didn't... You don't have to eat those ducks. I just told you... We have to mix the chicken in with the duck to make sausage. So it's dealer choice. Yeah, we'll just Anyways, tell you in your mind. So we have lots know. of chickens. <laughs> but we also wind what up What they're talking them. about is on the Homestead <laughs> channel, you might see us making some sausage. When you have a lot of animals and farm animals, they, they reach an age where they're just eating a lot of food and not giving you anything back. And you got to do something with them. And so ours are going to become sausage. And we had a mean rooster and we had ducks that were fighting. So there you go. That's farm life. If you made it to this far, uh, then now you get to hear all the personal parts about our life. All right. Um, so Monica says, who has a shop in Bernie? So the shop is. It's Sarah's. Uh, it's Sarah. She's the tarnished pearl, but it's uh, something for the vintage soul. Sanctuary. Sanctuary. For the Vintage Soul, Bernie, Texas. They are moving in a few weeks, so look up the sanctuary um, in Bernie, and then that way if you follow them, then you'll know when they're moving, but they are doing a class. Um, oh, Rashonda can't go because her mom is having radiation, so she can't get away. Stink. Well, hopefully they'll go live a lot. Um, Jamie, help him rip the paper unless you don't want to ruin his vision. Wendy, I don't know what his vision is. No, I'm good. I don't don't rip my paper. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, let's see. How much are the craft kits? Forty two ninety five. That includes you shipping. You could show them similar. They're not going to be the same because the two ones we had, we put them on the shelves in yesterday. Cooper, you want to go grab those over there? Those corbels. They're on the whatever. I'm so tired. I can't. The mantle. I'll show you guys. So it's forty two ninety five if you get recurring, and forty nine ninety five if it's a one time only. Yeah, those ones. Um, and that includes shipping, which is about 10 plus dollars, depending on where you live. But we include that in the price. Thank you, Vanna. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. So they are about this size. They're a little bit shorter, but they're wider. And if you go to the craft kit online, you can see them and you're going to get a dark color and a light color. So that way you can do a chippy finish on them. So there you go. They're cool. I, my opinion is that they're cooler than these, but these are cool too. These were like the three years ago, I think we did these, or two years ago. Two. So this may all just get repainted. We'll see where I'm at with it and how I feel about it in the morning. And it'll just be like texture underneath. <laughs> how many more papers you got? I'm, we're getting close enough that I'm going to just show them. I feel like I'm going to start singing the song. This is the live that never ends. We're only 13 <laughs> minutes over. I tell right. you things I'm funny. No, I'm oh, Cooper. Cooper, stop telling jokes. Okay, no, so, so far, this is where we're at. And it'll brighten up a little bit as it dries. So I've just been putting random decoupage paper, tearing it. I'll fill in all these little spots. I think it's going to come together because I'm going to do this to the whole thing and it won't take as long. I'll rip it all beforehand on like when I get to sitting down and doing this. Someone's going to get a very cool bowl if I can bring this together. Um, <laughs> if I can bring this together, I'll probably just white wax the inside because you probably won't see that much if you got fruit or whatever in there. <laughs> Kiki says that song's going to be in her head now. Sorry, Kiki. Um, let's see. What do you do in the monthly business subscription? So the business sub subscription, we answer questions all throughout the week. And then we have a once a week live video on Tuesday. And the live video is anywhere from half an hour to an hour. And we discuss all things business, how to grow your business online. Basically sourcing, everything we shipping, do. Any like part of business that we do, we share them like what our marketing strategies are. We talked What's, about SEO been, last week. What we has worked for us and what yeah. hasn't. How, um, how we've like managed to get through some of the recession and some slower times and how we got started. Lots of encouragement because sometimes, sometimes you just need a big old hug in business, but lots of lots of various items. And we typically will ask, what do you guys need help with? Because while we know what we want to talk about, I feel like I want to be directed by the group depending on who's active in there. So that way I can really like tailor what we're doing to them. So, all right. Leslie so says lots she- Lots of info on this thrift haul tonight. Thanks loves for the tuning bowl. in guys. Um, is Leslie the one getting the bowl? 
Did you buy the no, tote? No, I don't know. I thought you bought the tote. Or the, yeah, the tote. Kelly said she knows it's going to be great when you're done. I have did faith Did Kelly in you. get it? No, I don't know who did it. Okay. I'll have to look up. All right. Love you guys. Thanks for joining us. JamieRayVintage.com. If you have any questions, email info at JamieRayVintage.com. Caitlin, among her many jobs, is our customer service manager, and she will always take very good care of you. Yep. So thank you. Love you guys. And we will see you next week. All right. Catch you guys later.